What's good fam? Today is second day in Bali and we are still going extremely strong. All right, so what is going to happen today? Today I decided I am going to go to the grocery stores and try to um, look for quality food, okay? Quality food which I can cook myself and I'm gonna check the prices. I'm also going to um, check the uh, scooter prices. I'm gonna see, you know, what I can get, what I can get, you know, for certain price and quality of it. So those two, and what else? I'm also looking to buy a new a, a, a tripod because uh, I forgot my tripod at home last time when I um, when I came down here. So I need to get a new tripod. I have difficulties putting my cameras out there and just being me without holding it on my hand. So that's what I'm gonna do today. RFM, see you shortly. I feel like we're ripped, are we? We're still ripped, but we're losing sizes. See you soon. All right, all right, we. About to all right, we are and about. Oh my god, this beautiful weather! It's very, very sunny. Let's go. Hopefully, I'm gonna find a very nice restaurant today where I can have a great, delicious breakfast. Every time I come in here, just like yesterday, I felt like I'm so much in the village. But this, today, we're gonna go, we take a different route. Yesterday, I went this way. Now this today we are going to go this way. Let's find out what is all, what is up there. Yeah, bunch of scooter one more time. Lots of them. Soon or later, I'm gonna get myself one. Then I'll be able to explore way, way more than I'm exploring right now. Cause now I feel like I'm not doing anything. But anyway, that's my day two, anyways. So no complaints. I will figure everything out. Don't you worry, I will. So I'm gonna go across the street over there, Fourteen Island, and get myself some, I think some, you know, quality breakfast right there. But first I need to cross the street. And look at this. It's gonna take me another 10 minutes before I cross. I stumbled upon this small but nice cafe slash restaurant on my first day last night, located at the most busiest street in Shenggu. It caught my attention by its name, Protein Island. From protein shake, protein bars, eggs, fish, chicken, beef and everything. Hello sir. Hello brother. How are you? I'm fine. How are nice, you? Nice, nice. I'm good. I told you I'm going to come back. Alright then. Good and get myself again. a breakfast, right? <laughs> Very hot man. Unbelievable. <laughs> cannot believe it's October. Yeah, it is uh, hot for you. <laughs> yeah, that's too hot man. So what we got today? I think uh, the one I told you yesterday, uh -huh. I'm going to get, yeah. Uh, which one you wanna try? It was the top, right? What's the um, which one was it? It was what's that? It was the one with the uh, uh, eggs. Uh, B C. Yeah, B C was it bacon? Bacon and egg chicken. Yeah, bacon chicken. It comes with nothing, you say. Yeah. But do you have bread Just with it? Do you have bread? Scrambled egg, uh, grilled uh, green chicken, uh, and bacon, and uh, broccoli and cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. So no carbs in there. Uh, no. I need some extra carbs. Maybe you have something? Uh, just pasta maybe. Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, how many eggs do you... Is it inclusive? Uh, how many eggs? Two eggs. Two eggs? Can you add two more eggs on top if it's possible? Alright then. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> because you know it's about macro, right? Yeah. So two eggs, how many uh, How many protein do you get in there? Uh, maybe about uh, plus six, about... Twelve. Six I, think, I think twelve. Six. No, it's twelve. Okay, two, two eggs, twelve. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so twelve. So basically, if you count double, I'm gonna go for twenty-four. Yeah. But I'm looking actually for thirty. But twenty-four should be enough for today. All right. <laughs> All right. So BC with two extra eggs and uh, spaghetti. And spaghetti. All right. Great. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll sit. Uh, where can I sit? At the back. At the back. Yeah. All right. I'll Next come and pay. Yeah. I'll All come right. and pay. All right. Everything protein related, you can find it right here. I ordered and went to the back to sit and wait for my meal. There, I like the way it's set up. Small but well arranged for people to sit and enjoy the beautiful view overlooking the rice fields and banana trees. Personally, I liked it. I paid less than 5 euro for my meal. That's about 70,000 rupiah. in this 
convenience store. Oh, I see eggs. Look at that. Press to buy 30 eggs for like 5 euro. Now I'm going to see how much 30 eggs cost around here. How much is it? How much? Three, three thousand. Oh, Let's calculate quick how much three thousand is. Three ninety. So twenty cents. It's really three thousand. No, no, no. Three hundred. Uh, three thirty thousand. Uh, what? How much is this? Uh, this is it. Yeah. Uh, three uh, thirty. 30,000, 30, huh? yeah, okay, yeah, 30,000, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. 30,000, not 3,000, so basically 30,000 is 2 euro, it's still way cheaper. So this is what I did, I am actually experimenting with my budget. How much am I, you know, am I spending? So the thing about me is that I like to um, to control what I eat, right? So I like to cook for myself, I'm not an outside eater. What's good, FitFam? Here we are again with our recap. As you could tell, uh, this video did not promise um, what uh, initially was intended for, unfortunately. So my apologies. And but uh, hear me out. I can definitely explain what went on and why it didn't you know i wasn't able to go to um check any scooters why i wasn't able to go to um any type of supermarket or grocery store um here, here's the thing um i've noticed that in bali or well, at least where i am i'm not sure if it's an entire bali but where i am around my area those streets are absolutely not pedestrian friendly you know, pedestrians have no business in those, you know, streets because first of all, they are so small and where you, where a pedestrian should be walking is also where the uh, scooters are, you know, driving, scooter people are driving. So it's very, very, it's very, very hard for a person like me, especially for a foreigner. I mean, I'm all right because I still was able to maneuver, but I can't, you know, imagine if a, if a woman, you know, a lady, a new lady in the town trying to walk, it, it's just, it's it, it's not gonna work. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't work. And plus, I went pretty much, I don't know how long I walked, but I walked pretty far and I couldn't see any single supermarket. No, I didn't see no single supermarket. The only thing I came across was, um, um, those convenience stores, small convenience stores, which obviously they 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 overpriced they uh, they stuff. So it is you know, it's I would say it's very very hard. It was hard. And talking about those you know convenience store, uh, they are very very. Um, I found they are very overpriced. Um, they stock. I mean, obviously they're still cheaper than um, Europe, you know, US. But when I really compare the prices it's not really that you know far distance apart so which means that i will move i mean i'm not gonna stay here i knew that you know since i came but um this one really proved my you know proved my um this one really proves the fact that i really need to run away somewhere else and find somewhere you know more stable but again, it was only my second day, so I'm still, you know, in learning, you know, learning process. I will figure that out at some point. And this is also the reason why I kept this uh, video very short, because I couldn't do none of the things that I wanted to do. So, even tripod, I wanted to get a tripod. I couldn't get no tripod. There's just no store that I can run into and then get whatever I want. It didn't have, it, 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 it's not like that. I guess I have to go some, definitely somewhere else. If there's anybody in Bali that has way more knowledge and you know know the way around, you know in Bali, please leave me a comment. You know, just suggest something where I can get some of the stuff from. You know, it uh, it's uh, highly appreciated. So that's pretty much all that I wanted to share. What's going on in Bali? 
again, this is my second day, so I still have you know a lot of things, a lot of things to uh, to learn. I am a rookie now, but I uh, will become a pro very very soon, so don't you worry about that. And I want you to experience it with me. So uh, as I'm growing, as, as I as I'm learning and growing, I want you all to stay with me. So if you're watching this video for the first time, please give this video a thumbs like share subscribe to my channel obviously because that's um, you know that's very very important um so i can get you know so i can grow um yeah that's pretty much it i will see you next on my third video and yeah fam keep it strong keep it tight keep it motivated as usual easy work peace